What do you think is the greatest challenge facing her? Left? <laughs> I mean, how can I lie about that? Now, I'm going to try this guy. I mean, I don't even know what this is made out of, but <laughs> I never had anything like this in North Korea. <laughs> which is I'm going to take you with me to my daily life in Chicago. I know often people just ask me what I do day to day. So therefore, I decided to take you to with me to lunch in Chicago in Michigan Avenue. So please come with me guys. So guys, I am here on the Michigan Avenue. I cannot take you. I mean, today is so sunny and bright and gorgeous. So I think we picked the right day for doing this lunch break together. lunch actually I eat um, three meals in the afternoon so I eat I start eating at 5 then 10 and until 2 a.m. so today I'm going to go get us some healthy lunch and now here is the beautiful Chicago we are going towards the rivers Chicago is a really gorgeous city unless <laughs> So I've been living in Chicago for the last few years. Uh, it was pretty sad last year, living through the looting and the riots. But, you know, I mean, how can I complain after going through North Korean desert? So I am very grateful living here, especially the summertime. It's very pretty here. And I mean, it got lakes and it's amazing Asian food, by the way. I will take you all oh, to my favorite restaurants in Chicago, guys. So, my favorite building in Chicago is actually, you're gonna uh, soon see it. It's a uh, Trump Tower, Chicago. <laughs> It's a gorgeous building, and I think that's it behind me. Ooh! And so I heard, I heard about you because it's a Tribune Tower. I usually like old architecture because, I mean, in North Korea, guys, the history was erased. Everything before Kim Il sung came got like demolished. So I've never seen anything that was built before 1950s. Therefore, I love seeing some of those historical buildings, especially in Paris and Europe. But Chicago got beautiful buildings from even a few hundred years ago. So I'm so lucky to live in this freedom, in this beautiful city. So right here, guys, do you see that? Far away, there's a Trump Tower. I will show you when it's close to there. I don't often go this way, but today is so beautiful. So I'm gonna take you around in this city. Thank you for coming with me. Now so we are approaching Trump Tower. I know a lot of you follow me from all around the world. Not only just the US from I have so many supports from Malaysia, Indonesia, India, I mean Norway, literally everywhere. So today you're going to see my my town that is Trump Tower guys. Do you see how beautiful it is? It's just magnificent. And the another one is it's going to be Chicago River. My favorite is there. You guys see up there that uh, US flag. It's just amazing. Even now, like I was so sad to see the athletes during this Olympic. They were, you know, really dishonoring the US flag. But still, so many buildings have the U.S. flag on top of them. Oh, I don't know if you can get that. <laughs> anyway, so guys, this is a Chicago River. They dyed the river for the St. Patrick's Day. So the entire river becomes green. I still have no idea how they do it, but it is just amazing. 
Anyway, I'm getting hungry, so let's go get some food. So in Chicago, they have a lot of good Asian food, as well as, I mean, every cuisine that you can imagine. But I love Korean food and Chinese food, so a lot of restaurants that I go usually are Asian. So let's go soon. So guys, we are going to the Riverwalk. Uh, they are in this beautiful green river. And in this Riverwalk, there are a lot of artists performing. And do you see them? Wow, that was amazing. So in North Korea, all kinds of music are banned other than the worship, worship songs to kings. And therefore, most of songs I'm still catching up to learn. But it is amazing that when there is a freedom, humans can be so creative and innovate so many different types of things. So yeah, Chicago has a lot of art and music. And you get to see them every day. My wife and I watch your show. Oh, thank you so, thank you so much. much really... Thank you. <laughs> I will, do you want to be on the show? I'm recording one right oh, yeah, now. That's great. I was going to ask for like, a picture of you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Hi, thank you. We're such big fans of you. Uh, thank you so much for what you do. I really love your show. <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's do this together. <laughs> what was your name? My name is Adam. Adam. Adam so nice to meet you. Can I get a photo of my Thank you for watching the, my channel. Oh, yeah, I love your channel. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago actually support North Korea and say hello to me on the street so I'm so grateful if you ever see me on the street please say hello to me I'd love to meet you and thank you in person I'm taking pictures for my patrons and Instagram. I'm very grateful for my patrons. You guys have my back and really I think because of this kind of support that I get on locals and Patreon, I can keep just making content that pisses off for the Google and Twitter and Facebook people and without really worrying about censorship and demonetization. It is horrible how they try to only incentivize stories that mix their narrative. But one of the benefits and importance living in freedom and the responsibilities that promote that diversity of ideas, promote the open environment where everybody can express their thoughts. I really hope that we keep speaking out, we keep supporting each other, so we don't lose this precious freedom and this prosperity that we have in this country. You get approached by fans on the street. I get often approached from people, I mean, a few times a day, sometimes just once a day, but it after actually Joe Rogan, it has been almost like a, every time I go out, people notice me. And that's why I'm so grateful that people like Joe Rogan give platforms to someone like me who is not necessarily popular, <laughs> who is very controversial. And yeah, so. What do you think makes Joe Rogan so popular? His authenticity, yes. that his uh, fearlessness, sure. that he's so truthful to yeah. his beliefs and values. and. Also, he admits like I can be dumb. I don't know a lot of things, but at least I'm okay that letting everybody speak, right? 
that is really true spirit of America. And we have a right to be wrong. And now in this culture, you don't, you cannot make a mistake. And I think that's why it's getting really, you know, scary being in America, really, as a public, you know, person. Yeah. What would you say is the greatest thing that is different between all the countries that you've lived in? Uh, difference of uh, America? Yes. Uh, I mean, I where do I begin? I think so many things, but mainly the people that that God created men equal. That is really embedded in American spirit. Like no other country says that. Even in South Korea, in a free democracy, if you are rich, I mean, they think you are a bug, right? They don't think that God made it, humans in the image of like God, and we are ourselves is enough. So. I think that when I feel company America, that feel equality and true respect for humanity is like here. What do you think is the greatest challenge facing that? Left? <laughs> I mean, how can I lie about that? Not the liberals. I think liberals are reasonable, but really left is a true scary thing for me to face every day now. try this guy I mean I don't even know what this is made out of but <laughs> I never had anything like this in North Korea <laughs> what is this it's corn tortilla chip mm. and that's guacamole wow. made from avocados yeah, you know, it's so amazing. probably impossible to get in North Korea I've never seen any of this well, I have seen cucumber yeah. and tomato but not the cream I never even drank milk in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I only learned the cow, the milk cow from cow like uh, very later in life as a dog. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's white sauce. It's gyro sauce. Mm. It's like a sour cream. Yeah. Major. So amazing. <laughs> wow, I love this it. is the best. So now I just had my lunch. And everywhere you look at it's just gorgeous and beautiful. I never knew in my life I would live in somewhere like this beautiful, this free, this prosperous. Like in North Korea, every day, what I thought of was like, how, how do I find food? Whether I'm gonna eat or not. But in America, it's like my concern is like, what I'm gonna eat? So this is a pretty good life, isn't it? <laughs> and there's so many beautiful flowers. And These are real. So pretty. Visit me in Chicago. I will take you around. I will be your uh, tour guide. <laughs> yeah, and here's this gorgeous Trump Tower again. And but I was thinking like if blowing up Trump Tower in America is not a domestic terrorism, then what it is? But they still refuse to call that domestic terrorism. So when you live in downtown nearby Trump Tower. It used to be horrible. Every time something comes up, they come and protest right here in this area, and just it was so not safe. And now I think it's a bit better. So that's it, London House. I have tried to go with my friend Evelyn to the rooftop, but we never had the luck of getting in because there's always a line.